Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, but mostly your moon sign is my personal opinion. There's a link in the description box below if you um, want to figure out what your moon sign is, but there's also one there if you wonder why I think that the moon sign resonates the best. And this is also for you if you are spying on a single cancer. So this is the singles love reading for February 2018 for cancer. Let's get started. Okay, Cancer, this first card is kind of like your energy, what's representing you in the month of February. And you're like something totally different and new, something different than you've ever had in the past. So that's good. You might have already met this person, it looks like. Um, and you're not going to be disappointed by them. So yay, I'm so happy to hear that. Um, now, yeah, there are challenges involved in getting to know somebody new, and you don't really know where it's going to go. But you're kind of like getting excited and amped up, like, okay, this could be worth it though. Like, I'm happy right now in the moment, so why not try? So good, I love that attitude. Now, what kind of behavioral patterns are you experiencing in the month of February? Um, and this could be somebody that you've already met, you just started casually dating, or it's somebody that will come in in February. So, um, what kind of behavioral patterns do you have for better and for worse? Okay, so here's the deal. For better, this doesn't seem like a better card, right? The devil <laughs> card. Everybody gets so scared of that one. But the behavioral patterns that you have that are going to help you in your love life in February is that... Um, even though you know that like nothing is perfect, that there are like some like maybe dangers like we saw with that three of wands card to maybe attracting new love, to trying new people out. But you know, also know that it can also be fun, right? And you, so the deal with the devil card is the people here, um, you know, it could represent like a lot of passion, a lot of fire and excitement like in the sexual realm. But so they think that they're stuck here, uh, but they're actually not. Those chains are around their neck, loose enough where they could just take them off and walk away. And so I think that you're having this awareness this month that if something is, um, if you're bound together with somebody that you meet because they are kind of um, the bad boy type or the bad girl type, right? Or just because of passion, you're smart enough to know what that is. And so it's just gonna be a simple decision for you whether you want to take those chains off and walk away because it's starting to get too intense, or if you want to stay there. You might prefer the intensity. You are a water sign. So as long as you have that awareness, it's not actually a bad thing. Now, um, they're saying here, other people are looking at you this month and they're like, really, really proud of you. They're like applauding you. Yay, Cancer! Everything's great for Cancer! Yay! Cancer's successful! <laughs> Cancer's doing a great job! So, you know, you're the kind of person that people want to be with actually. And quite a few signs are actually extra appealing this month. Virgo has fantastic hair, actually. Every, they've just got the best hair of the Zodiac this month. <laughs> so, um, luckies. But the point I'm trying to make is you see all of this green here on the horse. So this is like, they see you as loving and stable, okay? But then there's also this like extra sexy element to you this month. Um, and it's just like, you know, more so than typical, people are going to be drawn to you to, like, have you on their arm, you know, like a, like a trophy wife or something, or like a kept husband. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're just, like, extra appealing this month, but not just in the physical sense, but, like, in regards to every area of your life, like, they just are are looking at you like, wow, you've really got your shit together. Good job. And I, that's a good sign because I think, I don't know if it was for February in the general reading, or if it was the love reading for January. But I do remember that Cancers had some sort of element of, you know, grieving something, not necessarily related to love, but having to grieve and then move on. And so this could be like a good positive distraction, even though there are maybe some negative things about it, it could be a distraction from really like sinking into the emotions that you would typically sink into Cancer. And so they're saying, you know, like so long as you're able to 
to shift your perception and be patient and just kind of see where things go. This isn't an actually bad energy to be sitting in for you in the month of February. Now, the other side of the coin, like what are you doing that's not so good for yourself in order to attract love into your life in February? Because you're a little bit confused about what you want. You know, okay, well, I want somebody who's like this or like this or like this or like this or, you know, like I want, um, I want to focus on my career, but okay, here's this new opportunity with love or it could be, you're just like very confused about, it's almost like maybe you have too many options and you're just not sure where to put your energy. Okay. And so part of that might need, mean that you're going to require more rest this month because some of that energy, when it's getting dispersed everywhere, the last place that it's going is to yourself. And so if you could focus on your sleep, that would be super helpful. And also that's because while we're sleeping, we are healing. You're in a healing process. So whatever reading that popped up in that you're grieving from something, um, or you're really disappointed and you're trying to heal from it, that healing still continues in the month of February. Ultimately, um, you're not necessarily thinking long term, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, so long as you're in the mindset that some of these encounters that you might have or people that you might meet might just kind of come in and then go. And if you're okay with that, that's great. But if you're not, then you do need to be thinking about what is it that you want long term as far as a love relationship goes, uh, because that might not be it, okay? It could be but it might not be. And so you want to make that more of a focus because that's actually going to end up being something that hurts you as you get deeper into the month and deeper into a potential relationship with somebody, okay? Now, what can you do in order to further your own growth on your path to love? And they're saying just be really direct, okay? Be very communicative and assertive with the other person. Kind of lay all your cards out on the table. And then um, making sure that you're going out, you're having a good time, you're having fun, that, that you're really embracing this enthusiasm because it has been a long time for you since you felt this type of enthusiasm with anybody, okay? So that's good for you. It's something new and exciting, but kind of just know your limits, okay? And then, um, and I'm saying okay a lot, so I apologize for that. <laughs> One thing they wanted to say, and they kind of hit it, and I think the reason why they hit it into the deck is because it's not true for everyone. But some of you do need to keep your options open, okay? Um, you might have multiple trysts this month. <laughs> How fun if you're into that. Okay, so what are some areas in your life that you need to change in order to welcome new love into your life? And they are saying um, kind of just seeing yourself as not being single anymore. Some of you have been single very uh, recently, but others of you have really gotten comfortable in being single, and now you're wondering, uh, how am I going to have somebody in my life that's like exclusive? I don't know how I feel about that. I, in particular, know a Cancer who is like, um, this person seems great, but they have a dog, and I just don't want to deal with their dog. <laughs> okay, so... Hmm, I don't know what to say about that one. How old is the dog, right? <laughs> but you do want to be thinking about things like that long term. So they're saying you can take it easy uh, with whoever you meet. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be a struggle. Um, just try to keep it as light and fun as you can throughout this month until your healing is complete. Because that confusion isn't going to go away until you're done with the healing, no matter how hard you try to focus on it. Because the fact of the matter is, um, you're not clear and you don't know what you want and you're not going to know what you want until near the end of February. So there's not much that you can do with that except for to get adequate rest and time for yourself. Now, uh, what is it that you need to let go of in order to be totally open and ready for true love to walk through your door? And they're like any disappointment or heartbreak, resentment that you have with other people. Um, it's not always easy, but if you can forgive them and then forgive yourself for putting up with it or, you know, how you handled things or things like that, that's going to be very important for you. They say like, unfortunately shit happens and it's oftentimes not your fault, right? You might've been paired with someone who seemed really good for you in the past and then they just shit all over you out of the blue and you're like, what the fuck? This isn't fair. Um, but you've got to try to figure out a way to forgive them. And you don't even have to tell them that you forgive them, but just kind of like release that, like a cords of attachment release. There's a link to a video for that below as well in the description box. So um, like they say, healing through sleeping is going to be the biggest thing. Now, I'm not saying go overboard like into a depression sleep and never get out of bed. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying make sure that you're not, you know, partying until 
4 a.m. and getting up at work at 7. Get adequate rest. Set a schedule if you have to. Because ultimately, then the fun times, the good times, are going to be far more enjoyable. And you're going to have a lot to celebrate because now you're going to be totally prepared for actual long-lasting love if that's what you want in March. This is a month of healing, but it is also a month of fun. And you can have both. You just don't need to sweat the details. You just need to get more sleep. So, love and light, and I will see you soon for March readings. And then um, if you're one of those in-betweeners, like, oh, I'm on an off-again relationship kind of a thing, I think couples readings are going to come out in the next few days. Bye! Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.